Welcome back everyone. There are many conversations that we as parents have with our kids that make us cringe a little bit, but is money one of them? Well, a recent study published on CNBC.com shows parents would rather, get this, talk about sex, going to the dentist, go to the dentist or going to the dentist, paying a speeding ticket, all of that, rather than talk to their kids about finances. I find that kind of hard to believe. So we decided we would dive into this today in mm. Real Talk with Kara, Hello. owner of Classic Couture, Amanda Easterlin, and comedian Hank Benson. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, think about that. You're gonna avoid f finance talk more so, you'd rather go to the dentist. I don't know, That's you guys crazy. crazy. I mean, I do love Where my dentist. Right? In. I do love my dentist. All right, so uh, CNBC posted common parental mistakes around money that financial experts make. But before we get to those, I want to start off. I think I know your answer, Hank. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have issues talking? To, yours are young, but do you have yeah. issues trying to help them explain explain to them money and? you know, why you can spend what you can on them or toys. Right, yeah, I mean, I do. I think they see the car commercials and they're like, that car's only three forty nine dollars a month. <laughs> and I'm like, no, <laughs> it's a little bit more than that. Right. So, it's okay. yeah. so I'm, I'm preparing myself. I'm going to take notes yes. so I really know how to indoctrinate them yes. correctly. Yes, me right. too. I start from a broke. I'm broke. And I don't know how we're getting this stuff for you. I mean, you got to be honest. I'm very, very honest. We weren't honest with my daughter, but we're honest with my son. Good. Like, he's, we show him down to the penny what's moving, what's not moving, what stuff costs, mm -hmm. everything. He'll, e he'll email me about something. I'll be like, find a price point. Uh, wow. Where can I get it cheaper? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mind getting it. It's $33. Yeah. I'm sure it can be $22.50. If you Find shop it. around. Yeah, That's and good. it makes them That's look. Smart. You know yeah. what I mean? But, Hank, I love that you said maybe we didn't with our oldest. So now, you know, we're reevaluating what we could do differently. And the experts say, which we'll get to, uh, that you're on the right track. Amanda, how about you? I don't think I want to take the advice I'd give my kids. So I think I would be the, uh, the conversation avoider because then I, I feel like, What's money if you don't spend it sometimes? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. And this is my soul sister. <laughs> She's like, what is money, money if you don't, don't spend it? We can't take it with us, people. <laughs> you could leave <laughs> But you could leave with your probably chair. just fell out of his office did. chair. I'm sure he did. No, I, when I saw that we were doing this discussion, I emailed uh, Haley and Kara. was like, oh, my gosh, Jim should so be involved in this uh, because we know how strict he is. Anyway. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, hot no. Hot no. I got a hot no. That's what he does. All right, so here are the parental missteps around money and see if you agree. So the first one is always saying yes. Experts say parents sometimes sacrifice too much for the kids, whether it's expensive college tuition, after school activities. Parents should balance their own financial needs with those of their kids. Um, I mean, because honestly, the long term effects. When you have overspent and then you're trying to scale back or now they're in, you know, student loan debt or I'm sorry, you are in student, you know, maybe you've gone into that loan with them. I mean, what do you think about this? Uh, well, we know Jim has the hot no. Right. Who here ha does the hot yes? Sometimes I do. I just feel like it's more common now. It feels, though, is that yes is the like... Um, the common thing to say, like, people don't tell their kids no. Like, they don't. Why, why are we stressed out? I mean, of course, like, you don't want to deprive them. I'm not saying, like, but why is, why is it okay for you to make your life so stressful to make your kid do something that you think they want to do when right. they're not going to be that appreciative of it anyway? Or they're not yes. going to be able to fit it next yeah. week. Right? My or thing fit is, in it, yes. My thing is, my son asked me for something, I'll be like, hey, go see if it's a knockoff. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, I'm not buying the $130 right. one. Yeah. You can get that $22.50. Dapper toes going to bust well. right out of it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But it's like we have to get to the point where um, we're teaching them business savvy because yeah. we're, other countries are teaching their kids how to run businesses online, offline, and our kids are just walking around like, I could just order I want it. that, well, I want that, I want that yeah. on Amazon, one click. And when they lose, like goggles during swim team season. Yes. And so I make them buy their new goggles. Yes. And um, one, my son won like a fishing 
tournament and called me. He's like, Mom, now I can replace those goggles. So maybe right. I've gotten through to him, but still, all mm -hmm. the time, they lose something. They're like, oh, you'll just get me a new one. No. I'm like, right. no, that's not how, that's right. not how it works. That's not that's how The works. default is, well, that's, that's the word I was looking for. The default is that we're just going to take care of it. Yeah. Right. You know? right. Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. We had we're a talk with my son that. today. He mm -hmm. called me today. He was like, what do you want for your birthday? His birthday's in a couple of days. And he was like, uh, shoes and clothes. And I was just like, just like that? He was like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> shoes and clothes. I said, shoes and clothes show up automatically. He, I said, but I know what you're doing, Dad. I'm talking about a, a more expensive shoes and clothes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so what makes you think that that's what I want to buy? He was like, well, we can talk about it. There's some stuff yeah. that's going to be, I know it's going to be pricey. I'm going to send you some emails and right. you figure it out. Well, then, <laughs> listen, <laughs> Hank, you've got uh, number two figured out because they say uh, the problem, that mistakes that we're making is we're buying things right away. Mm -hmm. So experts suggest teaching kids the difference, first and foremost, between a want and a need. Right. Talk about that all the time. And uh, give your kids the time to think about how much they really need. What are they really asking for? Or in your case, I think we could find a better price for that. Go look it mm -hmm. up. Depends on their age, of course. Yours may be too young to do that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's easier said than done when they're throwing the tantrum in the store. But experts say, do it. Don't give in right away. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. And yeah, and I feel like uh, I, my kids and I will research. A lot of times, like after the holidays, they'll get a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. And then they'll want to spend it on like the newest, greatest thing they just see. And so it's really hard to rein them back in and be like, all right, do you really want that Xbox? Or mm -hmm. do you really want, and then all your money's gone. Right. right. What about there's something else? So it's just difficult to have that conversation with them and help them understand when they're excited. That, imme mm -hmm. that immediate gratification, because that does feel good. It sure I does. They don't get the wrong ones. <laughs> we are clearly are the wrong ones. Yeah, y'all like, we, we could go shopping now. Nice yeah. shoes, girl. I know, right. I know. I'm always like, ooh, man, I want that. Um, but right? Okay, I, Hank, I want to get to this next mm -hmm. one because I, I feel like, again, you are doing it. Uh, not, we're not teaching the basics. Experts say that we, they need to understand from a very early age credit, debt, what is the difference? Uh, understand how credit works. They understand how uh, that thing called Amazon works. Uh, signing up for the credit card when they were 18, like I did, and spending it all in one day. Oh. I mean, it sounds like you're teaching your son the Man, tools. Man, look, I tell him through my credit card experience, you couldn't tell me nothing. I had like three credit cards. I was like, mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until they was like, uh, it ain't working. And that lady cut it up in front of me. <laughs> oh, oh. oh gosh. I was like, you cut it? Wait a minute. I was with a girl. Oh, that's... I was like, well, cut it up. I got another one. <laughs> oh, no, <she's> <laughs> and then the girl was like, you know what? Uh, but I was like, how am I supposed to know about money at 20? Yeah. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to know? Like, I right. just know I got to get a degree and make money. Right. right. And that's what we all... But now is the days where, yo, you can start making... I did a career day, and I was telling the kids, you can start a business now. Like, middle school, seventh yes. grade, eighth grade. I said the, the highest grossing kid on YouTube is opening toys. Right. No, that's a know. All right. And it's tapping into what they're passionate about. Did your mom and dad, I mean, how were they with teaching you about finances? I don't remember, but I do remember also getting into a huge amount of credit card debt in college because I had a credit card. It was like 18% interest. Mm -hmm. So I have that side of the store that was awful. And then the other side where for like a lot of birthdays and Christmas or whatever, they would get me like a savings bond or something yes. like that. Yes. Those things kept That's me good. alive from about 20 <laughs> to yeah. 26 because right. I was in deep trouble. Well, and listen, I think with obviously the recession, I think it, it made everyone second guess, not just the way we spend, we spend, yeah. but the way that we want to teach <laughs> our children. We're keeping so, it going. Yeah, we are. We're yeah, we, we're keeping the economy <laughs> going right here. Okay, we're almost out of time. I want to make sure to get to this one. Uh, excluding them from big decisions, we've kind of touched upon that. Um, it really, though, at what age do you start getting into that? Okay, we're moving to a house, kid. Our mortgage is going to be this compared to this. I mean, but they say, you do, include yeah. them. What about paying for everything? Uh, making them pay for stuff in high, at a certain age. Well, and I'll tell you, there's one thing. My husband and I did disagree on this. One time I was getting coffee and Benjamin, my son, asked to pay for it. And I said, of course, yes. And Ben was like, well, wait, don't make your kids pay for your coffee. I'm like, no, I'm teaching them we're part of a family. Yes. And using that money. So, or if one of the other kids is short, one of the siblings are short, they'll loan each other money. Right. So I feel like that's one Ooh, way that's nice. as that is teen, nice. family, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. to, to teach them about money. But money, I don't know, I feel like it, even as an adult, it's such a burdensome conversation. They gotta, yeah. I think they got to put it in their hands. Yeah. Yes. What I'm doing is uh, my son never knew how much his haircut costs. So, uh -huh. like, you know, my, I'm in the barber all the time. Barber Castle keeps yeah. me straight. 
and I, you hand the kids the money. You know how you, you hand the kid mm -hmm. the money and let them hold it, and then go go pay them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, right. this? Right. You got to give it to him. Yes. It's more yeah, real. That. It's right. more the real card. when it's yeah, cash. They don't yeah. even. Yeah. The card. I would say like, keeping it all in perspective, right? Yeah. Like we're all coming from a place of privilege that we have this money to right. even talk about yes. how we spend it. Right. But I also think like giving your kids that perspective too and like making sure they know that yeah. you have to have a job. Like I think working is very important and yeah. all those things. Take you care of your stuff. You do a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Mike, and, I'm going to take care. My mother yes. told me take, take care of your stuff. I learned how to cut coupons. A lot of stuff my mother, we we weren't, we didn't have money. My mother was like, look, let me show you, this bread costs this much. Yeah. Two pieces of bread. If, if that sandwich don't work out with that bread, well, you messed up that sandwich. <laughs> right, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. Yeah. Two more, can I get another one? No. I don't know. Yeah. You better <laughs> lick it together. <laughs> lick it together. Fold it. Fold it now. You messed up. Now, we want to know how you do it. If you are great <laughs> with advising your children, please, we want to hear from you, especially we right yes. here. <laughs>